Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book. Number 613. 613. O oh God, our help in ages past. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray for the repose of the souls of Colin and Claire McGinnis and John St. Martin. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for His mercy. For God is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came to him and said, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember now, O Lord, I implore you, how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the son of your ancestor David, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. I will add fifteen years to your life. I will deliver you and this city out of the hands of the king of Assyria and defend this city. Now Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and apply it to the boil, so that he may recover. Hezekiah also had said, What is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? Isaiah replied, This is a sign to you from the Lord. The Lord will do this thing that he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the declining sun on the dial of Ahaz, turn back ten steps. So the sun turned back on the dial the ten steps by which it had declined. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Our response, You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said to the new, noontide of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said I shall not see the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look upon mortals no more, among the inhabitants of the world. You save my life, I sh Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me, like a shepherd's tent, 
Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My eyes are weary with looking upward, O Lord, I am oppressed. Be my security, O restore me to health and make me live. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On the Sabbath, Jesus went through the grain fields. His disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Jesus said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and ate the bread of the, pre of the presence, which it was not lawful for him or his companions to eat, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests in the temple break the Sabbath and yet are guiltless? I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would have not condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. These words of Jesus that the Church has given to us two weeks ago and now today to continue to focus on is the bigger picture, what God desires, not what we're willing to give Him. People are so caught up on their little laws and they fail to worship God with their whole heart. He's saying, you're so worried about the external, what people think. Worry about the internal, what God thinks. God knows our heart. We fly into Mass at the last minute or late. What does that tell God? We haven't spent the time to prepare our hearts to be at peace. When we're at Mass, we're distracted. What am I going to do as soon as Mass is over? We're not giving to God what is His. We need to be all in. We need to be thinking about the prayer that we're in, the fact that we're going to receive Him in Holy Communion. Attending Mass is not good enough. We should be all in. Each of us should be singing the opening song, whether we can sing or not. God wants us to be totally focused on Him. Because when I have His heart, then I can be like Him. Because He is guiding me. I'm not caught up on laws. I'm caught up on, I want to have a heart like Jesus. The Sacred Heart of Jesus reminds us that He is merciful. And we are called to be merciful too. But I can't be merciful unless I spend time to listen to Him, that I ask Him to guide my ways. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Not I, not my family, not the government, not the church, that God has done this. So we owe God very much. And first and foremost, we give Him our heart. So let us truly focus on being merciful like Jesus, to be all in, to focus on Him and to worship Him, not just at Mass, by what we say and what we do. As Jesus invites us to follow Him wholeheartedly, to be merciful as God is merciful to us, we turn our hearts and minds to the Father and present our petitions to Him. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all clergy. May the Holy Spirit continue to conform us evermore to Christ in our ministry, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For public officials, may the Lord guide them in honoring the dignity of each human being from conception through natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may the Lord give them grace in their suffering, uniting it with the suffering of Jesus, 
and help them to trust in his plan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph. May the Lord help us to grow in our love for him and for one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters in faith who have died, we remember especially Colin, Claire, and John, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon enjoy the fullness of life with God in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. God our Father, please hear and answer our prayers. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. Be God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we now celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Ichara, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Colin, Claire, and John, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one of the ministers of Russian. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself 
holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our lives, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good St. Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. A thousand ages in your sight are like an evening gone. 
Short as the watch that ends the night Before the rising sun Time like an ever-rolling stream Bears all our years away They fly forgotten as a dream Dies at the opening day O God, our help in ages past Our hope for years to come Still be our guard while troubles last And our eternal home God bless you. Have a good day.